Hello, in this video we will uh, try to understand the mechanism of injury in a nerve palsy and how it produces that characteristic attitude uh, that you find in a nerve paralysis. Uh, this is the upper trunk which is formed by C5 and C6 roots of the brachial plexus and the point where C5 and C6 meets that is the herbs point. That is the definition of herbs point. Herbs point is where C5 and C6 meet. Uh, some authors say that this is the point, herbs point is where six nerves meet. Okay, that is also true uh, because this is the point where suprascapular nerve comes out. This is the nerve to subclavius. This is the anterior division and this is the posterior division. So altogether you have six nerves that are meeting at the point. Uh, though they are not meeting, they are, they are only C5 and C6 forming and uh, the other four nerves branching out. You can think like that. This is a point where six uh, nerves meet. So that is the herbs point. So how can herbs point be injured? Herbs point, as you see, this is the clavicle, which is the level of the divisions. The roots and the trunks are above the clavicle. So they are on the neck. So it is arising. The nerves are arising from the neck. So uh, an injury that will cause an increase in angle between the neck and the shoulder is the mechanism by which the upper brachial plexus can be injured. Herbs palsy is technically an upper brachial plexus injury. The common mechanism is a, an obstetric injury, a birth injury, in which uh, in a shoulder dystocia case, the shoulder is obstructed within the uh, birth canal and the traction on the neck or the head can cause an increase in the angle between the neck and the shoulder. That is how you can have stretch to the upper trunk. Another mechanism is a road traffic accident in which uh, the victim is uh, thrown out of a motorbike and falls and lands on, on, uh, the, uh, on the floor or on the road like this, suddenly vigorously increasing the angle between the neck and the shoulder. These are two mechanisms by which an injury uh, over here can occur. So what happens when this point is stretched or injured? Uh, to, to know what happens, we need to know which are the nerves that, uh, that distributes the C5 and C6 fibers. So the first nerve that you need to know that distributes C5 and C6 fibers is obviously the suprascapular nerve. Suprascapular nerve is em emerging from the upper, directly emerging from the upper trunk. Where does suprascapular nerve supply? Suprascapular nerve supplies the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus. The supraspinatus is, is an initiator of abduction of the shoulder, supraspinatus. Uh, infraspinatus is a powerful lateral rotator. Okay. Let us look at the other nerves that can be injured. Another one that is injured is axillary nerve. Axillary nerve, as you know, is coming from the posterior cord, but uh, the, its root value is C5 and C6. So C5 and C6 are basically distributed through axillary nerve also. How, where does it distribute? It supplies the deltoid, which is a prime abductor of the shoulder. Okay, between 15 to 90 degrees, uh, you have deltoid is a powerful abductor of the shoulder. Uh, the axillary nerve also supplies teres minor. Teres minor is a, a helping for lateral rotation. And uh, it also, axillary nerve also gives off the upper lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm. So that it has a skin supply also. So if you look at this pattern, one and two nerves is basically affecting the muscles that will cause abduction, the supraspinatus and the deltoid and lateral rotation, the infraspinatus and teres minor. Another nerve that is uh, predominantly affected in through C5 and C6 in the nerve palsy is the musculocutaneous nerve distribution. Musculocutaneous. Musculocutaneous root value C5, C6 and sometimes C7 also. So that is musculocutaneous. Musculocutaneous nerve, as you know, is supplying the uh, flexor compartment of the arm. That means the biceps, the brachialis and the coracobrachialis. Biceps, as you know, is a powerful supinator of the forearm. It is also a flexor and brachialis is a powerful flexor. So uh, the muscles, the, the actions uh, that are affected when the musculocutaneous is involved in nerve palsy is the flexion of the elbow and the uh, supination of the forearm. You also know that musculocutaneous has a cutaneous distribution which is the lateral cutaneous nerve forearm. So let us look at the muscles that are involved, afflicted or affected by this. Uh, the muscles that are involved in abduction of the shoulder, abduction of the shoulder and lateral rotation of the shoulder. Okay, these two groups are affected in the shoulder. Abduction is affected, lateral rotation is affected. Uh, next, you have affection of uh, uh, flexion, flexion of the elbow, flexion of the elbow as well as supination of the forearm. That is also affected. These two are affected at the level of the elbow. So what will be the attitude? Abduction of the shoulder is affected. So the shoulder will be lying by the side of the trunk or adducted. 
Lateral rotation is affected, so the arm will be slightly into going into medial rotation. Uh, next, in the elbow, you have a friction of the flexion moment, so the elbow will be extended. You have a uh, friction of supination, so the forearm will be slightly pronated. So the attitude is arm lying by the side, medially rotated, elbow extended and slightly pronated. Along with this, as C5 and C6 are involved, C6 uh, has a predominance for wrist extensors. So wrist extensors can also be affected, so the wrist can slightly go into flexion. So altogether this attitude creates what is called as the potter's tip, policeman's tip or the waiter's tip. Uh, attitude of the limb. You can also have involvement of the, the cutaneous supply. As we know, the upper lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm, lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm can also be affected. So there can be a loss of sensations in the lateral part of the upper limb, both in the arm and the forearm. So this is the whole picture of the limb attitude as well as the sensory distribution abnormalities that you find in an herb palsy or a nerve Duchenne paralysis. That is the upper brachial plexus injury. Thank you.